What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dusty Max Garage. I'll get this. You just stand there. <laughs> I'll get it. Today's project, number 3,025. I'm Dusty Mac, D Mac. My name's Dusty. Fun, fun fact. I was named after the wrestler Dusty Rhodes, American Dream. If you don't know who Dusty Rhodes is, you probably hadn't watched wrestling. But anyways, thank you guys for stopping by again for another video. Dotson behind us, y'all already know, $300 Dotson, 240Z. Got a 280Z that we bought to put the motor and trans in. Let's check out the board. Y'all, I got fussed at. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Appreciate all the subscribers, actually. It's raining outside right now. Y'all can probably hear. But I got fussed at because of my spelling. Spelling is not my, like, strong, strong suit. <laughs> but I had a lot of different places. Uh, and let's just say I didn't pay the most attention in like geography and now i'm wishing i would have but anyways let's check out some of the new viewers that we got we had uk netherlands south africa jamaica i spelled charleston wrong and i got fussed at so i fixed it charleston is pretty close to us we actually go to the beach there often so i feel bad about that but thanks to the, uh, the viewer who helped me out Nico, let's see, Alabama, Indiana, Dubai, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, Florida, Bahrain. Forgive me if I'm butchering that. Bahrain, 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 Northern Virginia, Baltimore, Wyoming, Ireland. Yeah, from Ireland, yeah. <laughs> Guyana, Guyana. Again, please forgive me if I'm butchering those. Cayman Islands. Harper, West Virginia, Maryland, and Canada. And if you didn't know it, woo, 700 subscribers to our YouTube channel. Man, yeah. But anyways, I don't wanna do a whole lot of talking straight off the jump in the video. Today, we're gonna jump back where we left off and try to finish up getting the patch for the passenger side firewall slash floor pan. And if you hadn't noticed, we got new lights installed. So I'll probably insert a few clips here. So, all right, so we're back. Not sure what video I'm gonna put this in, but we got a little upgrade for the shop. A little before. before shot all right let's get these things in here and open them up So, I don't want to get too uh, techy on you guys, but obviously a camera or uh, you can't take the best quality pictures or video unless the lighting is good. So, 
I'm hoping that this helps the video quality be better. Again, I'll insert the, the pictures that I took before and I took them in manual. So it'll be the same settings on the camera. So if there's a brightness increase, it's just the difference of the light. Again, not trying to get too techy on you, but if you put a camera in auto mode, it's gonna give you the same baseline exposure pretty much. If you shoot in manual, uh, which is what I did, you be able to see the difference better. So I'm gonna try to insert those pictures, the before and the after, shot in the same exposure. Uh, the only question now is, over here by the fab table, you know, we got this shelf over here, which is a good, probably two foot. It's a little dark. So my question is, which I'll probably already be decided this by the time I put out the video. Let's see if I can set you guys up. So my question is, should I install one more right here yes that's my answer I'm gonna install one more right here because it's a little bit of a dark spot and we can fix that right up but you could comment if that's the right decision I think it is actually let's use the power of YouTube magic and what well, bam So now, I mean, is it like this for everybody? Once you finally, once you finally install lights, you realize how bad your lights that you had were. So yeah, check her out. She bright. I think it's much, much needed, this one over here, because this, this shelf blocks a lot of the light. Yes, sir. I can dig it. Drop down in the comments if you think it made a huge difference. And then secondly, I'll insert some clips my wife and me got out here in the garage the other day and knocked out a little bit of work. She was cutting out some uh, panels um, for future rust repair stuff that we're gonna have to do. So yeah, I'll probably insert those clips. Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> we're playing hide and seek. <laughs> me and my wife's out here building the Datsun 240Z. I don't have a clue what she's doing. <laughs> Let's get to work. So, what do you think so far? It's epic. Huh? It's epic. You ready to work? Yeah. You gonna use the shear? Depends, you gonna make me hold the flashlight? Yep. <clears throat> Here you go. You know what that's called? Yeah, a tool. No, what do I call it? Shears. How do you say the name on it? Bauer, Bauer shears. All right, so we're gonna put her to work. We're gonna let her cut a piece that goes in here. And if she measures it wrong and it fits wrong, then it's all her fault. And the Dotson build is over. Ready? Mm -hmm. Good job. Safety glasses, PPE. Crazy. <laughs> I'll get this, you just stand there. I'll get it. Did you learn? 
burn anything. Yep. That's the weirdest angle ever. You don't want to start it until you get it on there. Uh, I got that, but you had the thing like 10 feet away. Look, you're going to want to cut it. Turn your body sideways. <laughs> Turn sideways. Well, this cord. Pulling it out would have just been so hard. All right, how's that? Terrible. too much in one spot because like I said that's the end to rip it. This is your start and that's your stop. Okay. So leave like an inch on each side maybe? Because you want the roll, you want it to be flat. Alright. Alright. If you watch that piece, you'll see it slowly. It'll shake towards you. Is that enough to move? She's not hard of hearing. She just has her headphones in. She don't want to take them out because then she has to listen to me. What are you making a face for? That's basically still a straight line. Okay. It's got a little curve. Might need two hands on this side. All right, so test her out. That's got the shape we need. Fits epic. I'll have to trim some of this off. And she's already made a, a template for that piece. Right there. Another topic of conversation. I'm not wanting to put myself in super time crunch mode and I've never did a build of this magnitude from like basically nothing to the extent that we're gonna try to build this to. But I would like to put a, a deadline-ish goal, I'm not sure what I wanna call it, time frame. Um, but I don't know really an accurate way to do it. So I'm thinking just a tentative goal. This car is for my wife, we're building it for her. As I said in past videos, 
her dream dream car would be like a Eleanor, uh, like a Shelby GT Mustang. But we ain't got no Eleanor cash. <laughs> we ain't got no Shelby GT 500 cash. That's why we bought the three hundred dollar uh, 240Z. But this would be a close second to her dream car. Now she loves like Novas, Chevelles. She lo she's got good taste in cars. She has great taste in cars. But anyways, this car is for her. So I'm thinking her birthday is as at the end of July. So let's see, we're in what? What are we in? September? Yeah, September. So we got October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That's 10, 10 complete months. And we basically got half of September. So that's 10 and a half months. By no means am I saying the car is going to be finished by then, but I'm just tossing around the idea of some sort of maybe the rust repair is complete. We've got the motor and trans in. Uh, basically like a dry run mock-up roller and then maybe it's on to bodywork and interior after that point. Drop down in the comments if July is feasible for motor and trans bodywork done as far as rust repair. But enough chatting. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so for starters we have got the piece cut out, and what I did is I used a scrap piece to try to get the contour of this, uh, this side here. And we'll come back, we'll trim, you know, the excess of what we need to. We're just getting it rough fit right now. This is the piece here. We're going to try to do it in one piece. So I took this. And the reason I use that small piece is because the big piece, I'm trying to make it in one piece. That's very hard to get in the car and back out because it's oversized right now. So it's actually bigger than what it needs to be. So I could have did it with that piece, but I would had to trim, put it back in, trim, put it back in, trim, put it back in. Whereas this smaller piece, I can put it in the car and actually see it a whole lot better and get my corner line right there. And then what I did is put it against that piece and marked out what I need to cut. So let's get that cut and then we'll see how the big piece fits in the car.
roughly fit in. It's not, it's not tacked or anything yet. It's rough, roughed in. We made our marks for our three lines up there that match the three lines back here. We'll take that bead roller. everybody thanks for making it to the end of the video right here's where we're gonna leave it we got our bead rolled in the next video we'll pick up where we left off here again thank you to all the new subscribers all the viewers thanks for the likes the comments really appreciate it if you hadn't drop down in the comments where you're watching from uh, I just think it's pretty cool that we got people viewing from, you know, all parts of the world. But anyways, remember, I forgot about this for a little bit. I've been working so hard on Dotson. We love talking projects. So if you got a project you're working on, drop it down in the comments, whether it's a car, truck, rat rod, drag car. The motto of the channel is, if you ain't talking projects, we don't want to talk. So in the next video, we'll pick up where we left off here. I didn't want to make the video super, super long. Uh, try to keep it under around 20-ish minutes. Uh, and that's for two reasons. One, I don't want an extremely, extremely long video. And two, it's already tough enough trying to edit and condense down a 20-minute video. So, y'all bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, I want to make as much progress on this thing as I can, but between work, being on call, my son's in football practice, got games going on right now. My daughter's in RTC and she's got extra practices after school. So it's like, kind of like a blur during the week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So bear with us, trying to make as much progress as I can. But we appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, if you ain't talking projects, we don't want to talk. Peace out. <laughs>